so welcome to our channel electronics on wheel and thank you for your support please like subscribe and comment if you like the content of this channel so we are running one series where we are discussing about the interview question and this is the fourth question where the interview generally asks this question most of the uh, automotive industry so how to select the connector in car truck bus or any vehicles so we will discuss today this particular question how to select the connector in car truck buses and any vehicle so there are mainly three parameters based on which we select the connector so first one is the packaging requirement so we will see this packaging requirement what does it mean that packaging requirement then we will see the electrical requirement then third one is the environmental requirements so these are the three factor based on this these requirements we have to discuss now we have to collect the information and what are the information we have to collect we will see that first is the car line data then operating conditions required feature what are the required feature and the type of connection which you need in the connector uh, or inline connector then uh, electrical information so all these things we will see in the coming slide so let's start with the car line data so car line data is nothing but suppose you are working on some of the project so which project you are working and which model year you are working so suppose one example if i give you suppose you are working on g12 and you are working for the 2028 or 2029 so this is the model year and the car line then second is the car volume <coughs> so car, car line volume or connector volume so car line volume is nothing but suppose for per year how many cars you can produce so that the uh, supplier can estimate the uh, quote or estimate the price on based on that okay that because most of the time that you you are not developing the connectors in house in oems are not developing so they are taking from the vendor suppliers so for that particular purpose that you need to define the volume of that particular connector so for per year how much connectors you can consume for that car line that you have to define then connector volume so connector volume suppose car line you have given the volume 1 lakh suppose but that particular connector you are using two times three times in your car line uh, so you can multiply by that suppose three times and you can give the volume of that particular connector for the uh, a particular project so this is the basic information which you have to collect before selecting any of the connector then coming to the harness name so harness name is nothing but as you know that suppose you are selecting particular connector for the body harness or the engine harness or you are se selecting for the door harness so those information you also need to be collect before selecting the connector so these are the basic information which you need to collect for the project so i hope you understand before you select the connector you have to take have these information handy so that when you are talking to the supplier then you should not be in a uh, fixed position or you are in, not be in a stuck okay now moving to the factors or parameters which we are going to discuss in this so first is the operating conditions so operating condition what does it mean that wherever you are going to select that particular connector so what are the operating condition in that so suppose physical location of that component in the vehicle physical location of the component in vehicle what does it mean suppose you are using that particular connector for the engine or the body uh, uh, or the passenger compartment so by that particular information you get that okay i have to choose this particular connector for the dry zone or wet zone this particular things you will get the idea on that and what type of mounting you are going to give how it is going to be packaged right by physical location you get this information let me erase this then second is will this connector to be located above or below the water fording line so i told you uh, uh, before also that how to define the wet area or the dry area so if suppose your connector is located below the fording line then it means that it is in the wet area that you have to give the extra protection for this we will discuss what are the protection you have to give 
so this is a clear cut sort that it is in the wet area when your particular vehicle will be submerged in the water then it will affect your connector as well then dry area uh, when you are above the water folding line and you have something like a passenger compartment you are in the dry area so it is very clear to when you are selecting that particular connector then coming to the the third one that is the environmental exposure so suppose you are going for the car wash and you have your connector location in high splash zone or submersion or exposure to vehicle fluid so in these type of situation you have to take care of that ip uh, i or earlier discussed that ip 69k ip 56 right these particular things we have discussed the increased protection so those particular connector which type of protection you are going to give so from this environmental exposure you get the idea ki ip56 you are going to give or ip67 you are going to give or ip69k you are going to give or you are going to give only the dust protection so this particular thing i have already explained in my previous video you can check out those videos i will give you the comment uh, link of those video in the comment box or in the description you can check out and you can just go through those videos then fourth one is the vibration class so vibration class and temperature class also these two points i have discussed in earlier video you can check out those videos so you have the 5g vibration then 10g vibration so what type of class this particular vibration is coming like class 1 body and interior class 2 engine mounting then class 3 transmission and class 4 the suspension mounting so in suspension mounting it will be the highest vibrations right so where you are going to pro, um, wherever you are going to give that particular connector in which location so you have to check out the vibration class of that particular location right then fifth one is the mounting in uh, environmental temperature class so in environmental temperature class is also the same thing wherever you are going to select that particular uh, connector you have to check out the temperature in which zone suppose in engine zone you are going to select so the temperature would be around in this range 125 or 100 uh, right degree centigrade so in that particular situation you have to check out the temperature class of that connector whatever you are going to select so you have to check whether that particular connector can withstand with that temperature or not so that's why this temperature class is required or suppose 150 degree centigrade so suppose when you are going to select the particular connector which is coming nearby exhaust so in ag nearby exhaust you will get 150 200 degrees and even 250 300 degrees centigrade this type of temperature you get so you have to check out where you are going to select that particular connector and accordingly you have to select the temperature class of that particular connector i think operating condition you are clear now moving to the required features so these are the packaging features so as i told you that there are three types of parameters where we um, select these particular connectors so packaging requirement so packaging and electrical requirement and environmental so I have discussed these are the environmental condition like vibration class, then uh, temperatures, environmental exposures. Now we are going to the packaging requirement or required features. So, so suppose first is the packaging restriction. So when when you are um, going to select that particular connector, you have to see the packaging location of that particular connectors, or that particular connector does have any restriction in the packaging. So those things, what are the space, what is the space is there, uh, how much space is there, okay, those things you have to check out. Then specific colors. So for particular connectors, you will be having the specific color, like uh, who's, who, who, those are working on the airbag, so they know that in airbag, generally we select the yellow color of the connectors to identify easily. So if you need the specific color of that particular connector that you have to check out and you have to give okay accordingly then clip provision suppose you want the particular connector should be with clip pro provision with the connector itself with the integrated like this okay so those things also you have to give you have to take into the consideration then fourth one is the connector position assurance so i already explained this cpa tpa and other things 
in ex, uh, detail in one of my inline connector videos you can check out the, that particular video and you will get that information so whether this cpa is nothing but for the uh, provision for the retention you can say so those things whether you require particular connect in the connector or not if any special feature is there that you have to take care then terminal plating whether you need the terminal with the tin plated or gold plated or the silver plated so these particular things also you need to check out then only when you are selecting that particular connector then you will check whether the for the particular connectors the terminal with gold plating is available or not okay then moving to the type of connections so this is a kind of electrical requirement i would say that number of circuit required so suppose you are going to use the 10 circuits right so you need at least 12 pole connectors or 16 pole connectors why because most of the time we keep two cavity or three cavity or four cavity as a buffer so that in future if something comes so we can provide that particular thing uh, particular feature in that so that we should not go for the another connector so you have to check first number of circuit how many number of circuits are coming so suppose 10 circuits are coming then you can propose for the 12 pole connectors 6 pole 16 pole connectors like that you have to propose then connector required is shielded or unshielded as we have discussed earlier that environmental condition based on environmental condition you have to make sure that you need the shielded connector or unshielded connector shielded connector for the wet zone and unshielded connector for the dry zone then inline connection is required for that particular connection or pigtail connection is required or direct connection so these three things you also need to take care when you are selecting your connector that whether it is inline requirement pigtail requirement or direct connection so in this particular thing gives you the idea of packaging that how you are going to uh, do the packaging of that particular connectors then terminal plating which we have already discussed that this particular terminal we have and what kind of plating you need for that particular terminal so this also helps in selection of the connector then moving to the electrical information so this is the last info uh, information which you have to collect for the connector selection so this i will ask you the question on this because many times we have discussed this particular information so first i will tell you what are the things you need in electrical information to select the connectors so circuit number then circuit description whether it is power ground can signal link signal then wire csa wire type what type of wire you are using then fuse peak current and operating current so suppose you are using for the power so suppose what type of wire csa you are going to use for that based on the current and fuse rating what type of wire you are going to use so these information suppose the signal why i need the circuit description so whether you are using for the can so or you are using for the cameras right so cameras require the fakra connector so those particular things you will get from the circuit description whether you need the fakra connectors on the normal connectors wire csa gives you the idea about so suppose you are going to use these five circuits so i have the 2.5 also and 0.35 also so you have to go with the like hybrid type of connectors right where you do not have the your cavity or terminals which are varying from 0 0.35 to 2.5 so that type of decision you have to take from the electrical information what type of wire you are going to use suppose fakra connectors are there then what type of wire you are going to use wire type you are going to use we have different different wire types like flr why a is it is a din standard avs avx this is a jaso japanese then gxl it is a american standards so you have to check out all these things before selecting the connector i have missed one thing deliberately in this particular table you just tell me what are the things which i missed for this table to select the connector and it is related to the peak current please comment in the comment box that what what are what are the one factor which i missed in this table which is required for the connector selection so i hope you got the information that what are the points you have to take into the consideration before selecting the connector and what 
and how they are impacting your connector selection. If you have uh, gone through this video and my previous videos, then it is more than enough in the connector selection that if anyone is asking you the uh, in interview that uh, how to select the connector, then it is more than enough and you answered everything whatever I have explained and it is more than enough. The content of this video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you for your time.